Mortal Kombat bursts onto the scene in 1992, and we meet Scorpion for the first time. He's a yellow ninja with a knack for throwing spears and shouting, get over here. Simple, but man does he leave an impression. Mortal Kombat 2 rolls around in 1993, and Scorpion's back with a vengeance. He's got a new trick up his sleeve, the air throw, and he's still rocking that yellow ninja look, but with a bit more flair. Scorpion's on the up and up, and we're all along for the ride. In 1994, Scorpion takes a break from the fighting and hits the basketball court in NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Talk about a career pivot. 1995 brings us Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and Scorpion gets a bit of a glow up. His outfit's got some extra details, and he's got a new move, the leg takedown. He's not just a one-trick pony, folks. 1997 is a big year for Scorpion. Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Sub-Zero, gives us a glimpse of Scorpion before his transformation as Hanzo Hasashi, a member of the Shirai Ryu Ninja Clan. We get a peek into Scorpion's past and his transformation into the specter we know and love. Later in a 97, Scorpion steps into the third dimension in Mortal Kombat 4. His design gets a realistic upgrade and his rivalry with Sub-Zero hits a new high. 1999 sees Scorpion hitting it big in Mortal Kombat Gold. His outfit's got even more details, and he's learned some new combos. He's not just a pretty face, he's got the skills to back it up. Fast forward to 2000, and Scorpion's taking a little vacation popping up in the grid. It's not your typical fighting game, it's a third-person shooter. But does that stop Scorpion? Not a chance. He brings his Mortal Kombat swagger to the death matches, rocking that iconic yellow ninja outfit like only he can. 2002's Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance gives Scorpion a major upgrade. He swaps his ninja outfit for some badass armor and learns some new moves. He's not just a fighter, he's a warrior. But Scorpion's not done yet. Later that year, he pops up in PsyOps, the Mindgate conspiracy. Even in a game about psychic powers, Scorpion makes sure he's the center of attention. 2004 is a whirlwind year for Scorpion. He kicks things off by swapping his kunai for a baseball bat in MLB Slugfest Loaded. Even on the diamond, Scorpion's a sight to behold, rocking his classic design and making every game a home run. And just when you thought Scorpion was done for the year, he makes a triumphant return to the Mortal Kombat series in Mortal Kombat Deception. Back in his element, Scorpion shows off some new moves and rocks a design that's a nod to his Deadly Alliance look. And let's not forget, he's chosen by the Elder Gods to be their champion. In 2005, Scorpion appears in Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. This action-adventure spin-off gives Scorpion a more demonic look to fit the game's darker tone. His movesets adapted for the game's action-adventure gameplay, showcasing his versatility as a character. 2006 brings us Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, and Scorpion's back and not messing around. With a roster bigger than a Royal Rumble, Scorpion's throwing down custom finishing moves like he was born to do it. And that classic yellow ninja outfit? Still looking sharp as ever. Also in 2006, Scorpion makes an appearance in Mortal Kombat, Unchained, a PSP port of Mortal Kombat, Deception. He maintains his design and moveset from Deception, proving that he can shine no matter the platform. In 2008, Scorpion steps into a whole new universe in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Even among the likes of Batman and Superman, Scorpion stands his ground, his spectral ninja persona undeterred. He might not have had a cape, but he sure brought his A-game to the superhero showdown. In 2011, Mortal Kombat reboots and Scorpion goes back to basics. Yo, he's bringing back that classic swag, but with a fresh twist. And guess what? Dude's leveling up with a sick new X-ray move. Old school meets new school. In 2013, Scorpion gets a modern makeover from comic book artist Jim Lee for his appearance in Injustice Gods Among Us Mobile. He's not just a game character, he's a comic book star. Later in 2013, Scorpion maintains his design from the mobile game in the console version of Injustice Gods Among Us. His movesets adapted for the game's mechanics, showcasing his adaptability as a character. In 2015, Scorpion first brings the heat to Mortal Kombat Mobile. Keeping his rugged look, he shows that no matter the platform, he's always ready to fight. His killer moveset is adapted for mobile controls, proving that Scorpion can throw down anywhere, anytime. 
Scorpion makes a fierce comeback in Mortal Kombat X. Sporting the same rugged, aged look from the mobile game, he proves that age is just a number when you're a badass ninja specter. His moveset is expanded with the game's new variation system, giving him three distinct playstyles. In 2019, Mortal Kombat 11 brings Scorpion back with a vengeance. His new look is a blend of the old and the new, mixing his classic yellow ninja outfit with the rugged details from his Mortal Kombat X appearance. The game also introduces a custom variation system, giving Scorpion a fresh set of moves and combos to unleash on his opponents. Scorpion isn't just back, he's better than ever. Fast forward to 2023, and we're back to the start with Mortal Kombat 1. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Scorpion's gone and pulled a switcheroo on us. He's now Kwai Liang, the dude we all know as Sub-Zero. Talk about a plot twist. This change-up is all part of Mortal Kombat 1's timeline reset, and while it had us all doing a double-take, it sure did add some spice to the age-old Scorpion vs. Sub-Zero feud. Also in 2023, Scorpion pops up in Mortal Kombat, Onslaught, a mobile RPG jam-packed with MK favorites. Despite being on the small screen, Onslaught doesn't skimp on the full Mortal Kombat experience. Scorpion is there, classic look and all, ready to take on some serious threats. And that's Scorpion, folks. From ninja to legend, he's the real deal. Now get over here and hit subscribe. Don't make a sick Scorpion on you. More heat coming soon. Game on.